Hello and welcome to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. And in this episode, we'll be doing a magazine review on Classic Retro Modern. So Classic Retro Modern is a new car magazine out in publication and we're going to be taking a look at issue one with this stunning little 1275 GT Mini on the front cover. So this is Classic Retro Modern. Um, how could I describe this magazine when it first arrived today? It feels like and it feels and looks like a sort of 1970s style magazine. Um, just the sort of feel to it. Um, so that's quite that's quite pleasing to say the least. Um, and as we start on the first page, as we open up the cover, we have a 1970s style um, poster uh, for Dunlop Sport S. SP radio with a Triumph stag. So here we go, this is just the editor's page. So into the contents page we've got um, starting off at the top left hand corner is Steph Holloway from iDriver Classic, an interview with Steph. Then we have a Ford Cortina Lotus. Our MGC Roadster, Fiat Panda Mark 1, Mini 1275 GT, another interview of Tom Caron, the Citroen GS at 50, the Maserati by Turbo, and In the Bag, which I'm guessing will be about the airbag. Then we've got some more contents here. Things like kicking tyres, clubs and events. So in this double page spread we have a Mercedes SL um, R129 generation. Um, apparently it really raised the bar and that's due to its um, anti... What is it? With its roll bar. Um, Sensor would obstruct the bar, would instruct the bar to pop up in just 0.3 seconds if the car rolled. And this is just the section called ignition. So, old news this month in 1971, um, Triumph recalled the Toledo in 1500 because of faulty axle casings. 1981, Pamphlet introduced perhaps the strangest clause ever into its new car warranty. So basically if you, had a mem if you were a member of an exclusive golf, polo or yacht club, and you found another member, one of uh, Pamford Deville, they would have our membership fees refunded. In 1991, um, Vauxhall was the first car company to t tell the UK about the level of discounting undertaken by its dealers. So anyone in the market could expect a new Astro L, could expect to see 13.7% knocked off the asking price. Cutaway cars. Glasses checkbooks and a Rover 200 BRM and a Mazda MX-5. So this section is dedicated to hot dates. So this is uh, car events coming up. So for example, this picture here is the Festival of the Unexceptional, which is happening later in the month, um, sponsored by Haggerty. Um, so if you've got an unexceptional vehicle or a vehicle you don't really see anymore, then this is perhaps the event for you. Why not check out on uh, Google Festival of the Unexceptional? You've got the 
VBO, VBOA rally. Now, I think that's actually just been this past weekend. So you've got multi-mark events. Looks like a hill climb there. So, so yep, a hill climb of some description. <clears throat> First advert is excess areas. British kit cars of the 70s. Um, the classic and performance car spectacular in August. At Tatton Park. More dates. So let's see <clears throat> if there's anything in Scotland for you. There's nothing in Scotland at the moment. Into the next section, which is Sheds Heaven. So you got MG at the 1970 Daytona, 24 hours. You got the Coing XJS. An Otto Bianchi. And the Arc de Triumph. An Opal Senator Cabrio. Don't think this lass is too happy. Um, because she's just seen an, a Senator Cabrio. Citroen SM in 1970 at the Geneva Motor Show. Moving over, we've got the Lancia Stratos prototype at the top there. Some V12 Super Saloons from Jaguar, BMW and Mercedes. Market Insight. So this is our buying guide for our Jaguar E-Type. Moving on to the next page, got an advert for R.I. Johnson, um, Power Steering Systems, Light Steer, Martin Robert Group for Jaguar and Daimler, um, Flexible Finance to Credo's Classical Services, so I think if you're looking to buy a classic car then you'd be able to get a good finance deal on it. Uh, if you're looking to buy a Vauxhall Calibra, you're probably their advice is to buy one now before they're all gone. So if you don't know what the Calibra was, the Calibra was a Cavalier-based coupe. There you go, a Calibra for you. Kicking tires. Let's have a look at here. Here's a magnificent seven for you. So here is the starting off with a Nissan Silvia S10. So if you're looking for a classic Nissan Silvia, and to be quite honest, I've not ever, I've not actually seen one in this shape before until I'd seen one on Furious Driving, and this example was on Furious Driving's YouTube channel. Then we've got Honda's little CRX. Moving down, the Lancia Trevi. Apparently it's a car famous for its dashboard design and well, very little else. I've never actually seen a Lancia Trevi, so I couldn't possibly comment. So you've got a Peugeot 604. Moving down, we have a Bristol 410. If you're looking to purchase that, then it's just £56,500. BMW Z3 M Coupe, £36,000. That's only one of 15 cars finished in Phoenix Yellow. 
And lastly is a DAF 66 Marathon Coupé at an auction. Let's move on to the next page. And the rest in five words. So who remembers a Subaru SVX? An Arrow 243, sorry. How about a Peugeot 309 GTI Goodwood? Or if you're a Porsche fan, a 924S. A Lotus XL. Or a Daihatsu Sharad de Tasmo GTI. Or a Ford Cortina Mark V Crusader. This is probably one of the sort of run out models before the Sierra came out. Moving down, we have a Ferrari 400i. And if you're looking for a Golf GTI alternative, then why not consider a Skoda Octavia VRS? It's basically a Golf GTI in a practical suit. Then we have a Venturi Atlantique. And here we go with another 1970s inspire, inspired advert. I'm guessing this is, was an actual true advert or the Escort Mexico. So this is the Mark 1 Escort Mexico and it's a much better advert than the equivalent Mark 6 um, Escort advert of 1995. Then we have our first interview with Steph Holloway of iDriver Classic. If you have not seen iDriver Classic, then why not consider giving Steph a wee like and subscribe and on YouTube. Steph's a real bubbly girl um, and she brings the cars that she drives to life. And for one of Steph's videos that she done one of our subscriber milestones was that she actually got to drive Mr. Bean's Mini. Moving on to the next page, we have an advert for Champion Spark Plugs. The world's favourite spark plug fitted exclusively to all British Leyland cars. Why settle for less in your car? Moving on, we have a Reliant Regal. And next we have a, a Reader's Cars. So we've got um, Martin Barkas, which looks like a wee camper van, and Georgina Wooten's Skoda Favorite. Um, if, you, if you're looking to see more about this car, then consider having a wee look at the Young Retro Motor Club. Got an advert for Poor Boys um, Car Clean Equipment. And then we've got um, a fuel stabiliser, um, worried about E5, E10 fuel, this might be the stuff for you to consider putting in your car. Next, <clears throat> next up we have Andy and Lynn's Triumph TR2 and TR4. Gorgeous cars. Oh, we've got some more adverts for Rivington TR um, for online parts specialists for Triumph TR cars, TR shop, SEH accessories, Ingenuity, Rimmer Brothers. You've heard of Rimmer Brothers, they deal with like um, MG, Mini, Rover, um, any sort of uh, the Triumph, any BL type cars. TR bits. Uh, 
Then we have a modern classic, which is the Mark V Golf GTI. And we've got an advert for classic and modern cars, so there you have a 2003 BMW E46 Cabrio, followed by a Jag XK 5 litre Heritage, an Audi A5 Cabrio, Mercedes SL500, Porsche 986 Boxster, And the Mercedes 190. Moving on, we have um, the staff members classics. So we've got Roy's Volvo 240 SE. Can't, can't beat our own Volvo estate. Then we've got the MGOC workshop, an advert for them. Um, Barry Carter. Alan Bartlett. So if you're looking for a 1964 MGB, Citroen 2CV, MGA race car, 1962 Singer Vogue, Saab 992 litre, Malada Neva. And also, if you're looking for a Lada Neva, check out the Late Break Show, it's a recent road test. Um, and here you can basically go buy a new Lada Neva, uh, import them, and have some fun in them. Just like the Late Break Show did, where he nearly drowned the thing. We've got Triumph Dolly Sprint there. And we've got an advert for mgv8part.com Some more modern classics, so you've got yourself a MGB an MG midget there another midget an MGR V8 the more uh, MG's um, modern approach to the MGB. Now here we have an MGB. Gorgeous cars of the MGB. Lovely cars. It's got the chrome bumpers on it as well. I think I prefer the chrome bumpers to the rubber bumpers. And this was just basically a, a restoration. So you can see a lot of works went into it. More adverts for motor wheel services. Um, so you, if you're looking for restoration of wire wheels, then um, this company might be of use. More car restorations. The MG Owners Club. Andy's Auto Restorations. Manor Garage and Sons. Classic Retro Modern, if you're looking to advertise. Car Kettle and Car Fry. Then you've got an advert for High Gear, if you're looking to have a, a five speed gearbox conversion into your MGs. Moving on, you've got your car builder, um, car builder catalog, and if you're looking for a private registration, then here we go for your modern, for your classic 
uh, or your modern classic. Then we have uh, the Mini 1275GT. So if you don't want a Cooper, then a 1275 GT would be another good option. And there is the British Oiland Plug Hole of Despair, logo that many people seem to call it. And there is a six-wheeled Mini. Be looking for that. Well, we put a flash in the front and a bull bar type effect. Twelve seventy-five GT and Richard Longman's twelve seventy-five GT racers. And if you're looking to subscribe to Classic Retro Modern, if you like what you've seen here, then you can go to Classic Modern, sorry, Classical, Classic Retro Modern dot com subscriptions. And there's an old Allegro there. And what we'll do is come back. We're going to come back in part two of this um, video. We'll leave the subscriptions and look out for part two. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and look out for part two coming soon.